Welcome back YouTube. My name is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, you will learn about physics basics in Unity 3D. Let's have a quick overview first. So the most important things are rigid body, collider and trigger. And we will have a look at each of those separately. So now let's have a look at the rigid body first. The rigid body contains information and details about the mass of the object that contains this rigid body. Then it has a drag property, which is like a damper. So it reduces the tempo to a certain degree, for example. Then the angular drag is similar, but it damps it rotationally. Then we have the use gravity property, which tells if our object is influenced by gravity or not. Then we have is kinematic, which we can activate. Then for example, our object is not influenced by physics, but it still influences other objects. For example, this could be great for a wall. Then interpolate makes sense for characters as otherwise animations and physics aren't calculated at the same time. So what interpolate does is it uses more resources in order to really make sure that the physics and animations work together quite well. And that's not as important for other objects as it is for the main character. Then you have the collision detection and finally the constraints, which allows us to freeze the position and freeze the rotation. So for example, if, if you want that our player or an object does not rotate, we can assign that it doesn't rotate to a specific angle or it doesn't rotate at all. So we could freeze all of the rotations. Then there are colliders and there are multiple colliders. For example, the box collider, which makes sense for boxes or objects that have a similar shape as a box. Then the sphere collider, which makes mainly sense for spheres and balls and maybe the player object if it has a form of a sphere. The mesh collider is a very precise collider, which is based on the mesh of the game object, which means it will be like a skin on top of the looks of the graphic itself. So if a, if we have a spaceship that has certain edges and so forth, the mesh collider would be a great choice here. Or if we have a player which has a very specific kind of form, a mesh collider would make sense. Then you have the capsule collider, which makes sense for capsules, but also can be used very well for players and the terrain collider, which is used for the terrain of the game. For example, mountains and the ground and those kind of things. Let's have a look at something that each collider has. There is something called is trigger, which allows us to make a object a trigger. We'll have a closer look at triggers in the next slide. Then you have something called material, which is a physics material, which, which adds things like friction or bounciness to our object. Then we have the center, which is simply the center of our collider. The radius, which is for sphere. So if you want to change the size of the collider of a sphere, you would have to change the radius of the collider. All right, next, let's have a look at the trigger. In order to use a game object or a physics collider as a trigger, you need to activate the is trigger property. It deactivates colliders. So whenever is trigger is activated, the surface is not like a wall, it doesn't behave like a wall or a skin anymore. So it can simply get passed through. That is great, for example, for invisible walls that need to start an event when passed through. So if you run through a specific wall or if you run through a sphere collider that is as is trigger, then the enemy could start moving or the enemy could start shooting or the enemy could be could be created only at that point or at least the animations could only start then because before that they wouldn't be relevant for example as they are too far away and it's also great for collectibles so now you should have an overview of the basics of physics in the next videos we will have a look at each of those colliders and of trigger as well so see you there hey don't forget to subscribe and like the video